When I say ping golf, I think most amateurs tend to look towards drivers and irons. And we don't ever really look towards ping wedges. Well, I think that's about to change. Right then, guys and girls, what is going on? Welcome back to the Golf Manic YouTube channel. I'm Alex, and today you join me at none other than Manning's Heath Golf and Wine Estate for a very exciting wedge review video. Now, on Tuesday, Ping announced their release of the Ping i59 irons and also the Glide Forge Pro Wedge, which is the one that I have in my hands today and the one that I'm going to be reviewing. I don't think Ping are that well known for their wedges, but I think this one here it's going to be an absolutely massive improvement to ones they've done previously. Now, this forged design wedge comes with a bunch of offerings and customization, but I'll get into that in a little bit because I want to talk about the design first. This wedge, called the Glide Forge Pro, is a lot smaller of a size in comparison to other wedges that I've reviewed. And when I look down at a dress at it, yeah, it is a stunning club to look at, but instantly, because of its smaller size, I wouldn't really recommend it to that higher handicap player, just because it may not instill as much confidence. Nevertheless, it's an absolutely stunning club, very compact, and I reckon it's gonna spin like crazy. Ping have said that this will have a lot of spin, but with that forged design and feel, I think this is gonna be an absolutely amazing wedge to use, especially around the greens. With that higher spin, you also have a new tough interaction for this wedge, which means that it should be very versatile around the greens, in the bunkers, wherever you go. The main thing I want to talk about this wedge is the customization and offerings that Ping are giving us as consumers. A lot of people, including myself and other amateurs, probably just look at some wedges, buy them off the shelf, buy them online, you name it. But wedges are extremely important to be custom fitted, and Ping look to be doing just that. Now this wedge comes from 50 degrees to 62 degrees, and there are two main grinds, being the S and the T grind. Today I've got the 56 degree wedge with the S grind and also with 10 degrees of bounce. But Ping are really making an emphasis as to how you play and what wedge you should choose. I said there's the S and T grind. There's actually over eight wedge grind offerings, from the S and T to the WRX grind. You also have three soles available and tons of bounce offerings as well. This is a really good step for wedge customization because they are so important and a lot of amateur golfers will be using the wrong wedge. Let's now see how this ping wedge feels here at the short game area. I'm gonna hit some similar shots as I've done in previous wedge videos, so just some little chips, go back 50 yards, go to about 100 yards and see how it feels. I'm really excited for this one, so stay tuned. Right, so as you can see, I've got two different types of golf balls today. I've got the Divide golf balls. They don't really spin as much, but they are quite good to kind of show you well, how much they spin with, with the two different colors. And I got some Z stars as well, which will spin a lot more. Now, even before I swing this golf club, or actually hit a golf ball with it, it feels a lot heavier than my uh, predecessor, the TaylorMade, um, I've got it over here. And there's definitely a difference in a uh, swing weight is more tuned towards irons and uh, metal woods, but there's definitely quite a significant difference in swing weight here. This one feels a lot heavier overall, whereas my TaylorMade doesn't feel as heavy at all, which is quite an interesting one. But I guess for chip shots, that makes it quite easy to get a quite consistent tempo. So let's go to the first little pin here, only about 10 yards away with the q side divides and just see how it feels. It's a lot of spin on that first bounce. It's a very steady wedge. Yeah. I could go in. <laughs> That's my best one. Get down the slope. Get on. That's ah, okay. Yeah, it's a very, very easy way to get your tempo right. I really do like how it feels because it is actually quite heavy. It's not, um, it's not difficult to hit from chip shots, but so far it's got a very good response to it. It feels being forged. It feels very pleasing to hit, which is exactly what I wanted. That's a very big improvement from those ping wedges. Let's now go a bit further. All right, I'm about 50 yards away now. I don't know why I keep giving myself difficult shots because this is now middle pin. I've got not a lot of green to work with, so it's really going to test the club to even get it within six foot. So we'll see if it can spin. It is downwind, so there is also a reason why it doesn't spin that much. But either way, with some premium golf balls, I'm expecting a few to get close. Oh, that span a lot. I don't think the camera picked that up because I pulled it a little bit, but that had a one hop and stop to it. It's a very nice flight as well. A very nice low flight that still gets a lot of spin. See if I can do the same with the ball that doesn't spin as much. 
exactly the same shot. A favorable bounce that one, but it's just long. Let's hit another one. Yeah, pretty good that one again. That's about, about 10 foot. Ah. Oh, another good shot there. This actually came out a lot better than I thought. I'm just collecting them now. And to be honest, I thought they were all pretty rubbish just because the shot was quite difficult. But from that, there's a few that are about five, six foot and then a few for about 12 foot. I'm not a professional golfer, so that's actually pretty decent. Next up and the final challenge will be from about hundred yards. I think this is where this ping wedge is gonna come into its own because I'm very confident with this wedge. And it feels absolutely superb. So let's give it a go. Right, well, I've already done this, funnily enough, but <laughs> I forgot to record one of the cameras. And they're all actually very good, and one of them nearly holed out, which I'll show you on the drone footage here. But I'm a bit further back now, actually. That was about 85 yards, now I'm about 100 yards, so I can really do a full swing on it. So it's a tough shot, I'll be honest. Downwind, not the best lie here. I'd take anything within, obviously, like 15 foot, but let's see the dispersion and my dodgy swing. I mean, that's how you start. Spin, spin, spin. Very good. Right in the middle. Lovely flight, lovely result. Little bit, hit up a little bit on that one. Oh, it's another good one. It's a little bit left though. Ah, wind's just pushing it slightly left. Another good one. Yeah, really, really good. This wedge is so stable. It's such a, I feel like it could be a strange word to use, but it's such a club that I'd want to use to attack a pin. Ah, that's the worst one there. Just tugged it a little too far left. It's just a little short left, it's okay. Let's hit one more and then see the dispersion of these because these have been very, very pleasing. Oh, it's a little bit right, but it should. Come around. That's the one, sit. Ah. It's a good shot, just a little bit long. Very happy with those. Let's go see the results and give my final thoughts on this absolutely stunning wedge. Right guys, so that brings me to the end of this video reviewing the brand new Ping Glide Forge Pro Wedge. As you can tell, I'm a big, big fan of it. This club for me, it is not targeted towards every single type of golfer. I have reviewed some wedges in the past from Callaway, from TaylorMade, and because they've been high toe, because they have just been a bigger wedge, I would say anyone can use them. Today, this wedge is more towards the player who knows his game, someone who knows they can probably hit the center of the club face every single time. That smaller size that this wedge has means that it's not as forgiving. Luckily enough, I did hit most of my shots out of the middle, apart from a few shanks. But what I was really impressed by was the overall feel of this wedge. I think with every type of golf product, you've got looks, feel, and performance. The feel of this wedge made it perform very well, to put it bluntly. As you could see by my 100 yard shots, you could put them with about 10 to 15 foot of each other. None were stone dead, but they were all very consistent, which is the exact thing you would want with a wedge. This is the exact club that I would want to have in my hands if I want to make a birdie on the last hole from 100 yards. Weirdly enough, I felt more confident with this wedge from 100 yards than from about 50 yards, but I do think that's largely down to my uh, short game bereavements. I did test this wedge out in the rough and in some difficult situations, and it performed very, very well. Is it the most versatile wedge in the world? Probably not, because it's not really targeted towards that. It's targeted towards maximum spin, unbelievable feel, and very good performance. This wedge comes with an RRP of £199 and is available at retail for September 2nd. It is a premium price tag, but it is a premium club. And in all honesty, this club is going to go straight into my bag. This is the exact scoring club I want, so no hesitation from me. This Ping Glide Forged Pro, straight in my bag. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. Let me know what you think about this absolutely unbelievable wedge by Ping. I'm a big, big fan, but it'll be interesting to see what you guys think because I don't think it's targeted towards everyone, but it looks great, it feels great. So I know pretty much everyone watching this video will probably want to get their hands on it. 
Do you guys want to see me compare this to any wedges that have been released in 2021 or some previous iterations? Let me know down in the comments. If you guys are new to the Golf Bandit YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button down below to keep up to date with all of our videos, from reviews, challenges, comparisons, you name it, we've got it to keep you entertained for all of 2021. Myself and Ping will see you guys in the next video. Oh,